Welcome to T8 Maker Channel, formerly Triple Eight Reviews. Today we're going to take a look at the print head and extruder from the Bamboo Labs Carbon X1. Please like and subscribe and let's get started. Today's video we're going to take apart the Bamboo Lab head, uh, remove the extruder and disassemble it so that we can see how it works. Getting the head and extruder out is pretty straightforward. Lift the cover off which is magnetic and then there's three 2mm hex screws that need to be removed in order to remove the unit. Before you move the screws, you've got to remove the temperature sensor, the heater, and the extruder and filament uh, sensors. So these cables need to be removed in order to get in at the hex screw behind. Then you just quickly unscrew each of these three screws as marked. They're all the same size, so don't worry about getting them mixed up. And before removing the last screw, you're going to have to loosen the scrub screw in order to release the filament cutter. The grub screw is a 1.5 millimeter hex screw. So just loosen it out, don't take it out fully, and it'll just pop out when it's uh, loosened enough. Then with your two mil hex driver, remove the last screw. Lastly, remove your PTFE hose. Just push down on the PTFE connector and pull up. I also have an additional connection on top of this, so it's a little bit more difficult to get it out, but it protects the hose from bending and creasing. So, once you have that removed, you can just pull out the extruder and the heater unit. And that's it. You're ready to clean it out or replace it. So this is the print head out of my Carbon X1. We have our sock, which is well and truly welded on after months of prints. You can see there's already a little bit of damage to it, but it's okay. It's working fine. It's the print head again. There is some crustiness around the print head. Nothing dramatic. So this is the same print head that's been in it since the day I um, I purchased it. So we have two screws. This will separate the print head from the extruder. So now we have the extruder and we have the print head sock. You can further dismantle the print head. I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm going to be using this print head so I don't want to risk damaging it while I'm dismantling it. These things are not free. So, but as you can see, this print here, this is the bit from the spare. So you can see it's missing the ceramic heater. Obviously I'm printing filament. I was printing some white filament recently, white ABS. So that's inside there. That's okay, that's not a problem. That'll get pushed through when I'm doing my next print. You have the fan that sits on top of it. And those cables got behind. So, yes, caution hot. <laughs> this is hot. If you're taking it apart after using it, be careful. You don't want to burn yourself. This is our extruder. 
you can see the marks on the on the cog where it's pulled filament through it pulls it through this this is the sensor that detects whether or not there's filament and um, sometimes this can get clogged up if it does just take it out there it is there so this is where your PTFE tube goes in and this is the sensor this is down the tube you will see if there's filament caught you'll see it inside there I've had this situation before and I've had to knock that filament out in order to be able to use the printer because a little tiny tiny piece of filament broke inside here so sometimes if you're going to get filament errors where it's saying you know pull through the filament can't pull back the filament can't pull back the filament and um, it's either going to be down inside here where the cogs are or it's going to be in here so and the best way to get it is to just take it off it's a 1.5 1.5 mil hex set so just take it apart pops out not a problem good to replace and um, you can replace this piece here you can purchase it on the store and you can replace it um, I've been having this I've had this printer for several months now I've done a lot of printing on it I've had no issues with this so far so I have a replacement extruder unit in the event that this one gets clogged. And you can see it has the same controller unit. It just slots in like that. And then the extruder itself. So, not necessary to purchase this, but I always think it's handy to have these types of things, just in case. So, that's the extruder unit. This is what you need to disassemble in the event that you get filament stuck inside. This is what it looks like. No harm to blow through it, clean out any dust or any crap. You can see already just blowing through it has already made a big difference. Um, you can use alcohol wipes to clean that down. Doesn't really require much in the line of cleaning. I wouldn't spray alcohol in there because obviously you've got greases, etc. inside. Um, but if you get a damp cloth and a bit of alcohol on it, just rub it along. That'll clean that. So to put it back together, first we'll put back in the filament sensor. So we get it the right way around, which is... This way, where you have these two little squares, push it in, put our screw in, and slot it into these two holes here. One. Obviously you don't twist it too tight or you're going to wring it, it's only plastic. We'll put our sock back on our print head. And we'll put our print head back on our extruder. So. These cables go into this slot here, this little notch, so you can feed all those cables in there. Keeps them nice and neat and tidy. There we go. Our two screws back in.
Make sure everything's straight and tight before we tighten this last one. And that's the unit back ready to go back in the printer. So let's put it back in the printer. To get it back in the printer, it's exactly the same as when we took it out. There are three screws that need to be put in, all two millimeter hex. We need to put back in the filament cutter and tighten the grub screw with the 1.5 millimeter hex. And then we got to put in all our connectors again. They're pretty straightforward because they only fit in one slot. So you're not going to put the wrong one in the wrong slot. So don't worry about it. And once that's done, you need to put on the PTFE, uh, unlike what I did, which is put on the cover. <laughs> so put your PTFE back in and then put your cover back on and you're done. Then just turn your printer back on and do a calibration. So you don't have to do this because it'll do a calibration before it does a print anyway, but it's no harm to do it. So with that, thanks for watching the video. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks again. Bye.